This is Machete with a special Cinco de Mayo message to Arizona. On Cinco de Mayo, I was sent a trailer for the new film Machete produced by Austin filmmaker Robert Rodriguez titled Machete. And white people are evil demons. They deserve to die. They're all racist. And armies of Hispanics have to hack up the gringos with machetes. And then that's the Latin American symbol of peasant uprising. In the U.S. and Europe, it's pitchforks. And I didn't know what to think of it. And then I got separately contacted by two different members of Robert Rodriguez's crew who are Hispanic. And they said, look, we're afraid of a major backlash against Hispanic Americans. This is really bad. And I said, well, what's in it? And they said, well, what you see in the trailer and more, it's off the chart. By the time I went and tried to look at the trailer again, Fox, 20th Century Fox, was pulling it. It had three million views. They pulled it. They had put it out. Uh, the New York Post had attacked it. Uh, Fox News had attacked it. But they had suddenly expunged those articles because Fox was producing it. The left hand didn't know what the right hand was doing. And I talked to members of Rodriguez's crew, and they just said, look, we've signed on disclosures, but look into it for yourself. I put a video out, and I said, look, everything that's in this trailer is paralleled by illegal alien groups torching a restaurant, attacking 20-plus businesses, knocking out windows in Santa Cruz, attacking police in Phoenix, Arizona, saying we'll use our pickaxes, we'll use our yard tools, you know, to go after you. We will take on And so I simply pointed out that this is going to create division. This is a serious problem. And then publications like Raw Story made jokes about it and implied that the film isn't even real when it's on IMDb and been announced. That's the level of denial. Since then, I received the latest script of Machete by Robert Rodriguez. It's far worse than what we had previously thought. White people are racist scum that run around murdering Mexicans everywhere, killing them. It all parallels what the media is hyping. If you're against government health care, you're a racist. If you're against big government, you're a racist. It's, it's a tool, a weapon. Uh, but it uses religious iconography. And it shows white people desecrating Catholic churches and crucifying Catholic priests. It has machete with illegal aliens worshiping him as Christ. Uh, and that he will save them. It creates a racial jihad or a cult movement. It is unspeakable. We have the script, and this is all funded by 20th Century Fox because they know it's going to make a lot of money. And Robert Rodriguez thinks this is going to be explosive and that it's some radical thing for him to do. And all of this dovetails, speeches all over the country of professors saying the gringos are evil, plan of San Diego, kill all whites, uh, school teachers giving speeches saying the frail white people are scared, we are communists, we're going to get them. These frail, racist white people want to keep us out of this country. This is not just about Mexico. This is about a global struggle against imperialism and capitalism. Yeah. At the forefront of the revolutionary movement is the raza. We see ourselves, all of us here, as the northern front of a Latin American revolutionary movement. Films are always at the forefront of propaganda in Hitler's Germany and our own country. And this film paints whites as all a bunch of murdering racists that are trying to kill Hispanic children and murder Catholic priests and crucify them. It is unspeakably evil. And so you're getting the first look at the script, Machete, right here. And, and people are so concerned in the production of this that I'm getting all the information. This is Hispanics that are concerned about this. It is just so incredible. And in it, it has a false flag attack where racist whites hire a Mexican to try to kill the senator so that they can have a pretext to attack Hispanics. And you've got all these you know, devout Catholics that are going to watch this and watch the gringo desecrating the church and crucifying Catholic priests. I read this script and we called the number and it is the official script. This is the equivalent of a Hispanic birth of a nation, the famous pro-Klan film that took the Ku Klux Klan from a few thousand members to two million members. And so imagine a film where black people are scripted as terrorist scum and trash. Imagine a film where Hispanics 
are put in that light. As a white person, I am insulted. And they say that anybody who's for border control, which every other nation has, Mexico, some of the most draconian, where anybody that is for sovereignty is a racist piece of trash. This is the mass mental illness that has created situations like California, where in San Francisco, Hispanic students can't wear American flag shirts because it's seen as insulting. Where school kids can't draw pictures of American flags now. That's on mainstream news because it's seen as racist. This is a cult formation. This is a mind control uh, operation. And you'll see when this comes out in September, unless they edit it or change it. Uh, I mean, this is unspeakable. Robert Rodriguez admits now he's going to make a whole series of machete films. So he's creating a cult following for a racial uh, hero. We have the script. And everything that's in the trailer is here and more. And it's worse than I could even imagine. We have video clips in Arizona where the woman says, we will rise up with the implements where we clean your toilets and do your yards with pickaxes. We will get you. That's actually in the script. They say in the script that they're using the tools of their slavery, their mops, their hoes, their pickaxes uh, to kill the gringo. This is all part of this liberation theology uh, archetype that we actually see at rallies. All of this merging with reality. Yeah, there's a border crisis. Yes, Mexico's had 20 plus thousand people killed in their drug war. Yes, Mexico's collapsing. White ranchers in Arizona and Texas are being murdered. Police are being killed, but none of that's in the film. No, the narco-terrorist state that Rodriguez glorifies in Once Upon a Time in Mexico, where the CIA is our hero, all of this is supposedly validated, and you go through it. Over and over and over again, they use the racist term wetback, being spoken by white people, framing white people as just running around boiling with hatred of Hispanics. I just wish we could live in peace, but we can't live in peace with people like Robert Rodriguez, funded by the federal government and big foundations to create division. Then they have the uh, employee of the senator setting up the federale to commit the assassination uh, of the gringo senator who wants to control the borders. And Machete agrees, yes, I want to kill this gringo for this money. And it goes on, he says, for the good of both our peoples, our new senator must die. And for that, I will pay you $150,000 in cash. Throngs of people are gathered to hear the senator's speech. The citizen militia, led by Von Kerry, carries a sign of support for McLaughlin and other anti-immigration slogans. They wear caps marked Freedom Force. There is a freedom force. I'm part of it. Freedom force is about auditing the Federal Reserve, kicking the IMF and World Bank out of the U.S. It's founded by G. Edward Griffin. State Senator McLaughlin is once again under investigation for his ties to extremist militia organization in the capital city. All of this shot in Austin, Texas, at the Capitol. All of this merging with reality, blurring the lines. And as I said over and over again, every white person that talks in the film hates Hispanics, calls them racial names over and over again. Uh, they repeat the same thing that wetbacks must be dealt with and Minutemen are murdering and slaughtering Hispanics, which is totally made up. The one grain of truth in this film, Machete, is that government stages terror attacks against themselves. And they talk about Senator McLaughlin since the assassination attempt his approval ratings are up. He's not being investigated for being part of an illegal Second Amendment group anymore. There's no way Rodriguez wrote this. Uh, this is a psyop straight out of hell that's meant to drive a wedge between Hispanic and white Americans. And they have evocative scene after evocative scene where poor, pathetic, innocent illegals are cornered by Minutemen that murder them in cold blood. And then it says in the script, they corner the last illegal. He's lit in the spotlight like Christ on the cross, and he's murdered. Not only do white people from start to finish spew racism at Hispanics. That's a straw man. They hire actors to say horrible things about Hispanics to make Whitey the devil. Okay? This is like a Hitler film or something demonizing people he wanted to go after. They actually made films like that. But it's religious. Machete, who runs around killing the gringos and killing Border Patrol and, and, and killing Minutemen who go down and defend the border. Uh, it shows Minutemen murdering innocent Hispanics. And the film ends with him murdering white people, evil people who deserved it. They were going to kill Hispanic children. It describes an innocent illegal trying to get to a water station, 
A bullet brings one of them down and the others scramble for safety. But there's someone out there shooting at them. Say a prayer to El Machete to protect you. They light a candle and say a prayer. Young illegal opens eyes. There's a glass candle in his hands. But no one else is around instead of Christ or the Virgin on the candle. It is a silhouette of Machete. Over and over again, they pray and they they project crosses on him. He is the race consciousness Christ. Instead of the Virgin Mary, it's him. Oh, Machete. They're creating a new icon like Guadalupe Hidalgo. Again, they're using racial warfare to divide this country as a tool of control. And Robert Rodriguez has been used as a dupe in this. Or he's a government operative. There is no doubt. Since I got the script, it is far worse than I can even possibly imagine.